guys, it's Lindsay, and I'm back to talk with you about my session 10 in my 12-part KMI Rolfing experiment. So session 10 is all about integrating the torso and the breath. Session 10 is the second of four integration sessions. This is the, la this is the third to last session in the entire series. Um, and just like the last uh, integration session, this seeks to really balance all of the lines in the upper body in this case. Last week it was the lower body. So the main, the main goals of this session is to really support natural movement and physiological function. It's also really targeted at the breath and getting that open and getting it moving throughout your entire torso. So with the main goals of stabilizing and balancing the torso in this session, we did a lot of work again in my rib cage, which I hated again. Um, that's a really uncomfortable spot for me. A uh, little painful, incredibly uh, uncomfortable, and I, I feel like there's, there's a lot of keys to a lot of problems uh, buried and twisted up in my rib cage, I think. Um, because we've now visited it a couple times and it's consistently been one of my favorite areas to work, I do believe that that goes a long way to say that it could be the key to a lot of my struggles and problems as well. So I'm grateful for that work we did, although once again, I really didn't like it. Uh, the other work we did yesterday, or not yesterday, but a few days ago now, was um, we did a lot of work in my neck. And I was complaining when I was in there in my session that it's, it's difficult for me to drop my head and just relax. It, it really pulls on a lot of muscles in my back, uh, typically when I do that. So he did a little work in my neck, a lot of work in my neck actually, and I really enjoyed that. I always love work being done up um, in the top of my torso, my shoulder blades, um, and even, even the front of my chest gets really tight um, and constricted, I feel. So uh, after that session, I I can now hang my head without any discomfort, and that's great. In fact, now when I lean it back, I feel tightness. So uh, we didn't do any work that direction in the last session, but but it does go uh, far to show me that just um, a little bit of, of realignment up there can go a long way in my comfort. I'm now able to roll my head around without hitting too many really obnoxious gears or rocks as, as in the path, instead of getting these like, er, er, I'm getting more of this smooth rotation around without any like severe pulls. So um, my main observation after this session was actually pretty powerful. Uh, most of these, most of these sessions as I leave uh, post work, it's the, the changes are usually very subtle, um, hard, harder to notice. Uh, this is a very long-term treatment. I mean, I I'm I completely understand that some of this stuff I I won't be feeling the the results from for many months from now, and that's great. But when I left this session, I immediately felt very very different, and I liked that. Um, just like anyone would. <laughs> uh, I walked across the street and immediately felt several inches taller. To be completely honest, I really felt that integration of that line from my feet to my head. And I, I literally just, I felt like everything was stacking so much easier and I could just increase my height just by completely extending my spine. Um, I really, I really felt great after that session. And I would say that of all the, what is it, 10 now that I've completed, that is the one that I felt the most immediate change from. And I think that the reason for that is probably because of the nature of it, it's integrative. We've already done a lot of this work, so it's really just tying it all together and um, and developing it in a way in which it can support my physical frame and movement. So the next session is going to be the second to last, and it's gonna focus on the arms and shoulders, which I'm very excited for, because as you guys know, I have this um, very unfortunate wrist injury right now that I'm working with. Um, which means I'm also working with a reflective shoulder tweak and also another reflective wrist injury. So this session is for me <laughs> right now in this moment. I'm very excited for this next one. And uh, if you're interested in hearing about it once it's over, uh, go ahead and follow my YouTube page, Lindsay K, or keep an eye on my blog, lindsayk.com. I would love it if you guys answered or asked, sorry, asked any questions or if you have any comments, just leave them below the video. 
I would love to respond and uh, let you guys know uh, what I really think about the final outcome of this series. Uh, until next week.